Hey guys, Alex Sturgeon here, Hobbytown Hobbyplex, and as promised, we have yet another unboxing this week. This time, it is the SC10 Pro 4 uh, from Team Associated, kind of their, uh, their advancement of their uh, Pro 4 that they used to have, except this one looks like it's way easier to work on. Um, let's just open the box, check it out, check out the features. It's got lights, we're gonna plug the lights in, make it look cool. I believe it's 319, ready to run. You're gonna need battery and charger separate. that let's take this out of here my favorite part about these unboxing videos is like watching the people fiddle with the box to try to make it nice see I'm blocking myself out of the shot there we go okay also first I'd just like to say to team associated thank you for putting the car on the box that's awesome appreciate it But as you can see, um, pretty standard short course stuff here, guys. Uh, front, rear bumpers, you can see the lights are in there. Um, the color of the car is pretty nice. Nice graphic uh, combo. Kind of your standard team associated colors. Blue, white, and red. It's pretty sweet. Let's take the body off really quick here. So. Oh, that's pretty neat. So it's got this, uh, this cover standard in it. That's really rad. And I think it's just elastic. Yeah, it is. So there you go. Very simple layout now. So if you're familiar with the old Pro 4 truck, uh, SC10 Pro 4, um, if you broke a servo, it was a complete nightmare to get fixed because basically it was entrenched in the front end. You had to take apart almost the whole entire car uh, to get to a servo. So this is way easier. Servo's right there. I just see four screws holding that baby in. There's your receiver box. You got your... Uh, Lights protruding here from the receiver box. You, if you ever bust them, you can always just replace them very easily. Uh, kind of the standard uh, SC600 uh, brushless speed controller, 3300 uh, brushless motor. It's sensorless, so no worries there. Uh, this is really neat. These little pull tabs here, looks like that's like a gear cover. So let's say you have a pinion gear slip off. Um, instead of taking the whole thing apart to get to it, um, kind of like you would at the Traxxas really. You just one screw and you just pull this guy up, it looks like. That's pretty neat. Um, modular design. You can see uh, that screw, that screw, and then these four screws here in this rear end should just come right off. And I think it's the same way on the front end. I bet you it's just these two screws here and then those two screws there. Front end comes off. So definitely a lot easier to work on. Uh, big bore shocks, and they're threaded plastic but I mean it is an RTR for 319 bucks four-wheel drive so um, you know you shouldn't expect a whole lot of metal on this thing although the motor plate here is nice uh, your motor adjustment adjustment cam there is all uh, metal and then the other thing too is metal arm mounts if you guys can see that but you see right there front and rear those are metal a lot of times those come plastic in a lot of four-wheel drive RTRs and that's one of the easier things to break also one of the hardest to fix uh, sway bars front and rear as well so we got that going for this truck too um you know already stuff that doesn't come standard on other things around this truck uh plastic drive shafts so nothing too crazy they're uh kind of typical um u-joints let's uh let's plug in the lights and just uh see what it looks like i'm actually prepared got my battery here haha <laughs> Let there be light. Let's see what kind of radio control this comes with here. I bet you this is, yeah it is. Okay, so this is kind of your standard, uh, the standard Reedy um, or team associated XP120. This is what comes with like the DR10. Um, I think the new, uh, the new SR10 dirt oval car all those ready to runs. This is pretty much the radio used on all of it. So it's got foam grip, you know, it's not too bad. It's a ready to run controller. You know, they are what they are, but uh, at least it's not super cheap. Uh, okay, so in, uh, what do we got here? The owner's manual, some stickers, some side stickers here. 
course the number one plate, why not? Some L tools. If you're like me, you look at those and go, <clears throat> and uh, pretty much toss them away. And then of course the instruction manuals, which we know nobody actually reads. So, but they're there in case you want to. Maybe, uh, maybe put them on the toilet right next to you. That's usually a good spot to eat or to read something. Put your phone down, pick up the associated uh, instruction manual and give it a peruse so you know what you're doing. Uh, general grabber tires and uh, kind of cool looking wheels, something different than the standard uh, spokes. So put the body back on with the lights. It's kind of neat. Be pretty cool for night driving up and down your street at dusk so you can see your car. Or have like a have like a night race at your local track or something like that. Turn off all the lights. We did that once here actually. It's pretty fun. Okay, uh, there it is. We kind of made a mess, but uh, we'll put it all back together. The uh, Pro 4 SE10 uh, from Team Associated, their newest version of their uh, four-wheel drive short course truck, and uh, should be pretty good. 319 bucks plus battery and charger, so you can get out the door um, for right around 400 dollars uh, to get going. And uh, look forward to seeing these out in the field and at the track for sure. Uh, that's it. Make sure that you uh, subscribe, like, tell your friends, and we'll make another video for you soon.